Hello and welcome. This is my second tutorial video where I'm going to talk about or doing exercise on dimension of derived quantities. But before that, I recommend that all of you to watch my video on chapter 1.1 dimension of physical quantities because in that video I had explained a bit about dimension. In this video, I'm going to determine a dimension and the SI unit for the following derived quantities. Okay, but before that, let's have a quick recap on our six basic quantity and the symbol of dimension for each of the six basic quantity. This is very important as dimension is a technique or method to describe any physical quantity in terms of its basic quantity. Okay, so how to denote a dimension? So for any physical quantity to denote the dimension, we need to write it in a bracket. So if you look at the table in the video, for basic quantity length, okay, we put the length in a bracket and the symbol of length, we also put it in a bracket or you can express it as big R or capital letter R. Okay, let's start with the first question. That is to find the dimension of speed and the SI unit of speed. Okay, so we need to denote our speed in a bracket form. Okay, and speed is distance over time. Okay, so distance and time also physical quantity. So we need to put a bracket on it. Okay, and we also can express distance as length. Okay, remember, dimension is about expressing physical quantity in terms of its basic quantity. So that's therefore we need to go back to our six basic quantity. Okay, so at the final step, okay, we have bracket of length over time. So we know that length also can be denoted as capital R and time can be denoted as capital T. So the final answer will be R T negative 1. So from this dimension, we can find the unit for speed. That is meter per second. Okay, let's try for acceleration. Okay, so for acceleration, we denote the acceleration in a bracket. So acceleration is velocity per time or velocity over time. So same as speed, velocity and time are physical quantity. So we need to put it in a bracket. However, velocity is not the basic quantity. So we need to find what the relation of velocity to our basic quantity. So it can be change in displacement that is equal to length over time okay so that is for velocity and then uh, over it with time so the final one will be length over time square that is r big r over big t square okay and the si unit from the dimension that we get is meter per second square okay how about force okay so first write the force in a bracket so force is the product of mass times with acceleration okay and remember mass is basic quantity but acceleration is not a basic quantity so acceleration can be simplified into length per time square which we already derived in our equation b Okay, so the final dimension that we get from here is big M, big R, and T negative 2. So from the dimension, we get the unit to be kg meter per second square. Okay. Next, we continue with power. So write power in bracket. So power is work divided by time. So 
make sure you write work and time in bracket also. Okay, so work is the product between force and displacement. Okay, so just now we already derived the dimension for force. Okay, and we can directly substitute it here. Okay, so for force, if we want to express in terms of basic quantity, so it is mass times width length divide with time square. Okay, so we need to times it with length again that refer to the displacement and divide it with time. Okay, so from here we get the dimension to be big M. Okay, L square divided by T cube. Okay, so we have M L square T negative 3. So from this dimension, we get the SI unit to be kg, okay, kg meter square per second cube. Okay, the last question is torque. So torque is a physical quantity, so make sure you write it in a bracket. Okay, so it is the product of force times with displacement, distance, okay, sorry. Okay, so for force, we can express it in terms of basic quantity, that is mass times with length divided by time square. Okay, don't forget to times again with length that refer to the distance above. Okay, so from here, we also can denote it as big M L square and T negative 2. Okay, this refer to the symbol of dimension. So from here, the unit is kg meter square per second square. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.